Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you I'm going to be showing you how to create custom super flat worlds in Minecraft Java Edition. So if you like micro videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials and other Minecraft videos. And so currently I am in a super flat world, but this is probably not a super flat world as you know it. The normal super flat world consists of a layer of bedrock, two layers of dirt, and then a layer of grass on top. And then of course you can also generate some villages in there and some other structures structures as well. But in Minecraft Java Edition you can actually customize these super flat worlds very very much. And so currently we're in a world that has a beautiful layer of waxed copper blocks at the bottom. Then there's a lot of air in between. So yeah, there we go. A lot of air right here. And then right above it is two layers of glass. And then there's also a layer of stone buttons. Which yes, if I press one of these well, they're all gone in this complete row. Somehow it doesn't crash the game, which is a good thing, I suppose. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom world like this. I will just make a new example and I'll guide you through the entire process. But I'll also leave some presets in the description down below so you can try those out, including this one right over here. Now you also might notice that we have some beautiful particles all around. And yeah, there are hoglins and zoglins at the bottom of our world. And that's because we're currently in the biome, the crimson forest. Forest. So in Super Flat Worlds you can also change the biome to whatever biome you want and sometimes that has some implications like for example here where there is the particles and the mob spawning of the Crimson Forest. And so we can see that there is no village nearby here and that is just because of this layer of stone buttons a village cannot spawn inside of it. And so let's just go ahead and create a new custom Super Flat World. Alright, so let's create a new world. Let's just call this Great Super Flat World. Let's go into Creative and then the important one over here is more world options and then world type just press this once and you'll get to super flat if you press it again just scroll through until you go back to super flat and then we can press the customize button over here and so this is the usual super flat world so as i said one layer of bedrock two layers of dirt and a layer of grass but we can change this so we can go over to presets over here and so there's a couple of in-game presets already you can try out and see what they are and test those if you want but the important part is up here and so this is where we're going to put in all our different blocks as the layers so well from some of these you can already get an idea of what is happening so there's first a layer of bedrock then there's three layers of stone 116 layers of sandstone and the Minecraft biome is Minecraft desert. But let's remove all of this and let's go for something new. So let's say we want to start with a layer of beacons. Why not? So let's say beacon. Also make sure that in every single one of these things you put in here, like blocks or biomes, make sure that you actually spell them correctly because if you don't, then it won't work. And we'll see that in a second as well. Okay, all right. So let's say Minecraft beacon. And then we just do a comma and then we can go to the next one. So we have some beacons. Let's say we want a little bit of air in between. So let's say we want 10 blocks of air. So just do 10 times Minecraft colon air. All right. Then maybe let's do a layer of spore blossoms. Why not? Minecraft spore blossom. Sure. And then let's do a layer or maybe like, like three layers of rooted dirt like this. All right. So that's our different blocks. Then we can do the biome. So what we want to do is put in a semicolon like this. And then we can type in the biome. So since we have some spore blossoms, why not do the lush caves? Let's say lush caves. All right. And then you can also specify which structure should be able to spawn in these worlds. This won't always work, but you can try it. So another semicolon. And let's say we want villages to spawn in there and maybe strongholds as well. It might not work. Let's just see what happens. Just to try it out. Let's also just add 50 stone on top. That might help stronghold generation, but we'll see what happens there. It should be stronghold, not strongholds. And let's say dungeon as well. And let's see which of those actually generate in the end. So we have a layer of beacons, 
10 layers of air, layer of swarm blossoms, 3 rooted dirt, 50 stone in the lush caves biome with villages, strongholds and dungeons. Now actually do copy this line right here, so just press Ctrl A, Ctrl C. Because if you make any mistakes, then you won't be able to paste it back in. So let's click use preset. And there we go. So if this changes here, that means you've done it correctly. And if you see all the different things you already wanted in there here, then yeah, indeed, you've done it correctly. But let's say we, for example, forget an S here or whatever. If you do anything wrong and click use preset, it just goes back to the default super flat world. So yeah, as I said, make sure to have it copied so you can just paste it back in here. That will be really useful. All right, so now we have our layers. Also here you can remove layers if you want. So let's say we actually don't want the stone on top. We can just select the stone and press remove layer and that automatically removes all the stone there. If you go back to presets, we see that indeed, yeah, that has been removed from the preset over here. So yeah, if you still want to customize it afterwards, that's a really useful thing to do there. I wish this was how the entire thing worked instead of having to type it in manually, but sadly that's currently not how this works. And so the height here is just how large the layer is. So for example, here height is one because there's one layer of beacons, 10 layer of air, one of spore blossom, three of rooted dirt and 50 of stone. It also says which one on bottom and which one's on top but all right let's see if it has all worked so press done and we can create new world here all right so this might take a while depending on which blocks you added and all the other customizations as well here we go we'll join all right so we have a whole lot of stone that makes sense that's the top layer we can see that we are currently at level one. That also makes sense because of course in 1.18 we got the new world depth and so we'll go all the way down to minus 64. We can also see that slimes are spawning here because yeah, we're low down in the world below Y40 and yeah, there's just a whole lot of space for these slimes to spawn because they can spawn in any light level. So let's go into spectator mode and let's fly down to see what we have. Whoa, look at that. All right, that's probably the spore blossoms down there. So let's fly down and let's see what we actually have. There we go. This is what we have here. So yeah, there's a layer of beacons on the bottom here at the bottom most layer. Then there's air as we specified. Then there's many, many, many spore blossoms. And they're all placed on indeed rooted dirt. Oh, that's actually a quite a nice pattern there. Look at that. If I do this. Huh. Never thought of that. But that looks pretty cool actually. But right. That's that part. And of course we can check that we are in the lush caves. Let's see. F3. Yes we are in the biome lush caves. All right. Very nice. And then as for the other parts. Well yeah. Let's try to locate a village. So this probably won't work since of course villages can't generate in lush caves. No indeed. That didn't work. Might have more luck with stronghold. Who knows. Hey, there we go. We do have a stronghold. So yeah, the village doesn't generate because in Lush Cave villages can't generate. So if you want that, then just make sure the biome is something like a plains or a desert. Then indeed villages will be able to generate. Let's go over to the stronghold. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, well, look at that. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, if you want stronghold generation to work well, then I would suggest actually putting the layer of stone all the way up to 64. But I mean, there is a, a beautiful complete stronghold here with one eye. All right, that's okay. But yeah, since normally, of course, the strongholds are covered in stone or deep slate, it looks a little bit strange here. Let's go to a different stronghold. Maybe this one generated a little bit better. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope. Same thing. This one's a lot larger though, look at that. And so there we go, that is pretty much it. That's how to customize super flat worlds in Minecraft Java Edition. If you have any more questions about this, feel free to ask about it in the comments down below. I might not be able to help everyone out here because of course there's many different things you can try here and many different things that could go wrong. But if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier three member, the Smiglar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member if you also want to become a member click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers but there we go i hope you all enjoyed the episode in the next one so until then mm, bye bye